Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Many people responded to my previous video on the mutations. I told you very clearly that mutations are blind gunmen. They are not blind watchmaker that drives the evolution forward, making complex organisms. In fact, they are blind gunmen destroying the very uh, fine-tuned structures in the human body. That is what I learned for the last eight years as a physician, and I stand by that. And many of our Darwinic, Darwinian friends, they gave responses, and one of the most common things they uh, mentioned is uh, sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia supposedly giving uh, resistance supposedly giving protection against malaria is the evidence for evolution is the evidence uh, for the uh, for the progression of uh, molecules into human beings yeah, that's fine folks but let me tell you one thing very clearly a primary loss associated with a secondary benefit is no benefit to start with. Let me tell you like this. For example, you lost your job. Well, that itself is a tragedy, right? In that tragedy, what happens? Now you can say you got some secondary benefits. The secondary benefits are now you are penniless. You are resistant to robbery. No thief can attack you and take away your money because you don't have money to start with. That's a secondary benefit. You can say you were losing your job is a positive thing in your life because you are no more susceptible to robbers and thieves on the streets. The same thing is uh, true here, folks. Sickle cell anemia is a deadly disease when it is a homozygous. And this deadly condition that Darwin and evolutionists, they changed it as some kind of positive mutation. They are playing with scientific evidence, folks. And I see these patients with sickle cell anemia in excruciating pain. And I wonder how could anybody make this as an example for positive evolution. Now let me explain to you a few things. Sickle cell anemia, every person carries two copies of hemoglobin gene. Now hemoglobin, it is carried on the 11th chromosome and every person has two genes for this. And you see two copies of the same gene in, in, in other words. Now hemoglobin F, when the babies are born, they are born with the hemoglobin F, that is fatal hemoglobin. And this morning I gave, uh, I was working in the hospital and uh, two ladies came, both are pregnant, full term, they gave delivery to two babies. These two babies, folks, they have hemoglobin F. And after six months or seven months, they slowly transform that hemoglobin into hemoglobin A, that is adult hemoglobin. So these are just normal variants of hemoglobin. But when it comes to hemoglobin S, yes, the sickle cell hemoglobin, the substitution of valine for glutamic acid at the sixth position of the beta chain. That's the only one substitution, folks. Only one amino acid changing results in this deadly disease. You can see, folks, in the upper level, you can see the normal hemoglobin, where uh, at the sixth position you can see GLU. But in uh, lower section, hemoglobin S, yes, you can see it is being replaced with valine and uh, that's all the mutation folks and it causes blood cells sickling and uh, the blood vessels are occluded and you see the young boy here who is suffering from uh, uh, sickle cell anemia. Is it an advantage? I mean that's a very very slight change 
but it has deadly consequences that's why you need to see that a mutation might happen very easily and it carries deadly consequences it will never carry positive things now let me tell you the pathophysiology of this condition what happens is uh, when hemoglobin s yes, that is the hemoglobin in the patients with sickle cell anemia this hemoglobin folks it has a very susceptibility to hypoxic conditions that is whenever a patient goes to mountains whenever he does not breathe oxygen at the normal measures this uh, hemoglobin yes in his blood vessels it changes its shape it changes in the form of sickle cell and it uh, it, it it sticks with each other these hemoglobin molecules they stick to each other the polymerization happens in the blood vessel and they occlude the blood vessel as a result the blood supply to the target organ is reduced or even stopped and the patient will develop excruciating pain in that condition and the brunt of this uh, effect is bore upon every organ in human body right from the brain then the heart then the lungs then the liver spleen intestines and uh, the legs these people every organ in human body is affected by this uh, disease folks and the normal lifespan of RBC is 120 days it is reduced to some 10 days in sickle cell trait and what is happening folks when this uh, red blood cell it changes its shape it might have fooled the malarial parasite now malarial parasite cannot attack this sickled RBC you may call this as an advantage you might call this as a positive effect but what is happening folks this sickled cell goes into liver it damages the liver it damages the spleen in fact these sickle cells are removed from circulation by the spleen so they go to the spleen and what happens is they damage the spleen and after some time actually the spleen starts to self destroy itself that's why patients with sickle cell anemia they won't have spleen anymore we call this autosplenism in other words these sickle red cells are some kind of suicide bombers they destroy themselves and they destroy the organs they go into and the and uh, the point folks how can you call this these sickle cells go into kidneys, they damage kidneys, they go into brain, they cause uh, 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 cerebral infections, they go into heart, they cause uh, myocardial infection, they go into liver and they cause hepatic diseases, they go into intestines, they cause nu nutritional problems. Folks, this is not a beneficial mutation at all. And how can you say a disease that has 100 negative effects can be classified as a positive thing when it is beneficial only in one respective how can you say that you are losing your legs is a beneficial effect because now you are not you are not uh, susceptible to any motor vehicular accidents that is silly reasoning folks and but these evolutionists they are using this kind of silly reasoning to compare uh, their things and in fact as the blood cells are destroyed the aplastic crisis comes the the bone marrow won't be able to produce adequate number of red blood cells white blood cells and the patient goes into cytopenia and the spleen is destroyed in the process and uh, folks this is so you can't say the so this is the uh, uh, this is a kind of uh, evolution and the other thing I want to mention is uh, even if you take that uh, sickle cell anemia is giving some protection against malaria that's not enough evidence to prove the Darwinism which says that molecules the rocks if given time can transform themselves into Einstein's and Isaac Newton's that is not possible you see because um, there is no evidence to start with so folks there is no evidence for positive mutations and I will discuss other mutations also which has been uh, mentioned under the comments section God bless you. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. You see, Bible is the word of God. Darwinism is human opinion.